Hello everyone, this is Emma Newman. Welcome to Online Video Course Piano Well. Today I'm going to share with you the very secret of music. Um, I know that we used to think that music is in sounds, but in reality the music is between sounds. And this is a space where you can create the music, where you can create the sound. Okay, let me give you some explanation here. Um, you probably know that in this world, everything that we can see, everything that we can hear is just a result of our intentions. And um, everything that was created in this world was first created in the mind and heart of people. So the same thing happens in the music. Uh, yes, we can hear the sound, but the sound energy itself was created in the silence long before we can hear actually the sound and that energy was only manifested in this world through the sound. So that means that we're creating sound not when we press the key but long before we even touch the keyboard. <laughs> and this is how we create the sound, this is how we control the sound and this is how we become like creators of our performance. So let me tell you how it works. Um, if you're following me for a while, you probably already know that um, we're able to imagine sounds in different timbres and colors and then produce it on the instrument. We can imagine sounds in um, like emotional colors of harmonies and different dynamics uh, and even we can move the sound and the space to the right and to the left in our imagination. So, I don't really want to go to this topic too deep because it's not new f for you and for us. But what I want to really share with you is how you can control and create sound in the distance between notes, in the interval. We can feel and express so much in this distance between notes. But firstly we need to know how we can actually feel that distance. And uh, the only way we can feel it is through intonation technique. If you never tried that before, I'm gonna explain for you briefly so you have an idea what I mean. So basically you're gonna sing an interval and if you sing a sitting interval then you kind of sing both notes to the right. Like, I know you're gonna sing it to the right but I mean every single note you make movement to the right and next one to the right. But also, you may glissando between notes. Now, when you make this glissando, you don't need to make it very easy because we have to feel the distance, you know. So, you can only feel that if you make it with resistance. Like, you can imagine that there is some resistance of water. If you even move your uh, hands in the water, you would make it like with more hard work and slower because there will be resistance to water. So the same thing is happening here. So just imagine that you kind of sing in the water. So this is how you can feel the distance and in this case if you sing small interval like second It's really small distance, but if you sing octave, you will sing it with so much effort between notes. So um, yeah, this is intonation technique. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much, basically everything, <laughs> you can express and convey uh, in your performance through this intonation technique, through through uh, this distance between notes. First we can express and remain wait while playing if we convey through intonation. Um, weight is basically is free energy within our body and within our arms, arms. <laughs> and uh, that let us play everything with ease and good quality sound. But if you just tune into this feeling, but not gonna connect it with your intonation while playing, then as soon as you touch the key, this feeling will fade away. But if you really connect it and express it through your singing, then uh, this feeling will be remained 
in your body, in your arms during the whole performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you through singing, through playing, uh, how it actually changes intonation, how we changes intonation. So first I'm gonna sing without uh, weight. So I will sing just with intonation this way. Now, if I get the weight and sing it with weight, you can feel how it changes the sound, how it changes intonation, and eventually that will also change uh, feeling in our hands and touching and the way we produce the sound. So I'm gonna sing with weight now. And if I play without weight, just... But if I do with weight and intonation, so again, one more time, guys, you can only connect this and this <laughs> through this. <laughs> so basically, everything you imagine and want to express on the instrument. You have to have some kind of connection between yourself and your instrument and this connection, this little bridge, is your intonation. So if you do everything, if you express and convey everything through singing, through intonation, that will reflect your performance and that will reflect, reflect the sound that you produce on the instrument. And if you want to know about uh, this weight thing, how to feel it, how to gather it while playing, uh, please click this link over here and um, I explain everything in this lesson like how to make intonation, how to feel weight, you know, some exercises everything in very very small details step by step so you can follow this video <laughs>don't connect articulations, don't express articulations through intonation, through singing, then all articulations will be just known that you simply play shorter or longer with more or less effort, but as soon as you connect it with your singing, everything absolutely changes, you know, articulations becomes kind of part of you, this is the way you speak, and this is definitely change even your intonation and the character of music. So. If I am singing and playing this little motif, I will sing it this way, staccato for example, and I would play, and to note So that, that would really influence the character of music while you're playing. Uh, that would really enrich emotional, emotionally uh, you and, perform, and your performance. <laughs> And again, if you want to know about articulations more, how to sing, how to play it, uh, just click to this video <laughs> and welcome, just take some time and just hope you will find it very interesting for you. Uh, also, you can express through intonation musical speech. Musical speech is basically emotional meaning of each interval like, again, if you don't know about this, uh, I will explain very briefly. For example, second and seventh would have meaning of tension, um, request, asking, this kind of feeling. Um, waiting, you know. Uh, third and sixth would be absolutely different. It's just like very um, beautiful, romantic emotion, like harmony. <laughs> And fourth is call to action, very energetic. And augmented fourth would be like kind of mysticism, also kind of tension interval. Fifth would be very a relief, you know, like meditation, calm interval. 
and octave and unison would express open statement. Again, if you just know about this, not connected with your singing while playing, then it would just stay over here. Again, there is no connection with piano, so, I mean, knowledge about something is not enough when we're playing. So, you have to connect it with intonation, and when you feel this emotional meaning of interval in the vibrations of your voice in the distance between notes. This is how you basically can control the sound and control your performance. And that will definitely enrich your intonation and eventually enrich your feeling, your uh, touching and your performance. Again, I'm going to show you guys uh, how it basically works. So let's try. Um, I'm gonna sing first. I'm gonna sing and play each interval first, just with intonation, and second, I'm gonna express some emotional meaning of each and every interval that I'm playing. So you would feel the difference definitely. Uh, for example, second. Let's try. <laughs> so just first intonation. Now with emotional meaning. Third. Now with meaning of this interval. And so on. So it, you definitely can feel the difference. And trust me, when you play and when you intonate with this emotional meaning, every interval in the piece that brings so much more meaning to your playing. And it's so much more pleasure to play in this way. So if you want to know about musical speech, then again click to this link and that will bring you to the lesson when I explain and teach musical speech. Now all of us of course know that how phrasing helps the music flow in the in in the performance. And again you may know exactly the structure of phrasing, you know, the limits of motifs, phrases and sentences, but if you don't really connect it with intonation, then the performance wouldn't sound, or the phrasing wouldn't sound expressive enough, expressive enough, so you and listener could feel and understand this phrasing. It would actually rather sound, if you if you try to make it, it would rather sound artificial than natural. But as soon as you connect meaning of phrasing with intonation, then you know you kind of start feeling natural again, start feeling all the tensions and all the reliefs of the phrasing through your voice, through your singing, through your intonation. I'm um, gonna show you one more time how I'm making it through singing and performance. I know that like demonstrations is the best explanation, so <laughs> so I'm gonna sing, for example, the same motif, and uh, in this motif I'm gonna bring everything to this MG because, as we know, every motif has main interval, every phrase has main motif 
and every sentence has main phrase. So I'm just gonna show you one, one motif here. So if I sing it with, again, just with intonation, I will sing it. But if I sing it with um, motif, with phrasing, I will sing it. Okay, this way. And if I play it without phrasing and we use motif, so you can feel the difference. Again, I'm using all these principles and everything I'm playing. So it's just not just theory, it's really something that works for me and actually works for others as well, if they know that. Uh, about phrasing, again, I made a long time ago a video from my lessons, so you can just click here and check that video. And the same thing happens in the form. I mean, how we can express, how we can convey an idea of introduction of music, beginning, development, rising to climax, climax, conclusion, if we don't really feel this. I mean, nobody can feel that <laughs> if we don't feel this. So the only way to feel it, if you're really connected with intonation again. Um, I'm gonna sing for you one interval in different meanings. And I will sing in, okay, let's go through all the meanings. So I will go, I will sing introduction, then beginning, then development, then rising to climax, climax, and conclusion. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but this is how I feel the form of music. So um, I'm gonna sing and play it. smiling because at some point I just realized that it looks like I'm teaching you know vocal lessons right now but trust me guys every great pianist um, every great teacher every great performance no matter which instrument he plays firstly he can sing it he can sing it brilliantly because if you cannot sing music you cannot really play it because you need to feel it and the only way you feel the music is when you sing it <laughs> I hope it's not could, could, too complicated, I just try to explain why I'm saying so much in this video. <laughs> okay, so this is about form and um, here would be the link for you to click to go to the lesson that explains uh, how to find the form of music, how to feel it, how to uh, develop this ability to express it through intonation while playing, so welcome. <laughs> Honestly, the most precious and sacred and the most significant moment in the whole system that I discovered was that I can actually express emotional image of music, my emotions about music that I'm playing, through this distance between notes. So basically, I could feel um, energy of my emotions through the vibrations of intonation <laughs> and 
that was really bla blessed feeling, really. Um, I know that many of you struggling with expressing everything you feel through playing, and I used to be the same. I like, you know, like everything here just like heat, but nothing is here. <laughs> Again, no bridge, you see, no connector, no no connector that we could just go through to connect ourselves with the performer, with the with the instrument. So I know that many of you struggle with this right now. But trust me, when you're able to express emotional image of music through intonation, when you can feel this through vibrations of your voice inside, that you will find the response from the instrument when you play. Um, and you can express every scale from zero to top of your emotions when you're really connected with intonation. Um, I don't know if I can actually... I don't know what to express through intonation. I never tried it out loud before. <laughs> okay, I will try now. If I want to express something peaceful and graceful and calm okay with the same interval i would sing without without emotional image just intonation again i would sing oh, and with emotional image i would sing And if I would like to express something, you know, the character of music is bright and lively and cheerful, then I would go, I would go this way. And if the music is sad and kind of melancholic and somber, I would sing this way. So again, just first. First one I sing without any image, right? Just first intonation. Now this kind of image. Gosh, it really looks like vocal lessons. Okay. And if I want to express something forceful and, you know, something really strong and passionate, <laughs> again, how it would be. Actually, the very first time I'm doing it out loud. <laughs> um, so you can really feel, right? <laughs> so how it works. Um, and again, about emotional image, I believe I also made a video that I'm gonna include over here. So you can click and go ahead. And the last one is artistry. This ability to play very confident in front of the audience. Um, you know, this feeling of confident expression. Uh, you can again, you know, make so many exercises before the performance to feel that. And you can, you know, tune into this and be just like ready. But if you don't really express it through intonation, then as soon as you start playing, the audience will eat you <laughs> because this feeling will fade away. Uh, so you have to connect it with intonation as well. So I'm gonna sing just again without artistry and then with artistry. <laughs> You can feel that right now. 
uh, I actually heard that some of the great um, professors kind of mention that that the music is not but in this distance between notes and you know they suggest to play with more effort uh, but again nobody ever could really explain that in detail how it works and that's why nobody can ever teach that so that would work for everyone not for just genius teachers and genius pianists <laughs> So that's why I'm saying that um, I decided to make this video because I never heard that anyone on the internet would talk about this topic before. Alright guys, I hope it's super helpful for you and I really want to inspire you to get this piano world training program, 6 months, it's free, like every material, every video is on the channel, is on my website. Um, just welcome, go ahead, I'm always supportive, you can, I'm, I always respond to every um, comment, every letter, uh, you can answer, like, you can question me with everything you want, like, I mean, related to the, to the piano training program. So, I hope to see you as my student in the future, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.